But now let's talk about the statistics and how to calculate mean and median. So as you can see, here are some marks, for example, for some students from 20. And suppose that we want to calculate the mean and also the median of these marks. So now let's talk about how to calculate the mean of this data. So in order to do so, I print np.mean of x. I mean, we want to calculate the average or let's say the mean of x. So if I run a code, you can see here is the output, which is the average of these marks. And basically the formula for calculating the average is summing these values. So we should sum these values, all these values and divide that by the number of values. So as you can see, we have five values, so you should sum these values and divide that by five because the number of elements is five. And the result would be the mean of x. So now let's talk about how to calculate the median. And remember that I'm going to talk about the theory of calculating the median by the end of this part. But now let's do it in Python, and later on we are going to talk about the theory of calculating the median as well. So in order to calculate the median, I simply use the median function in order to calculate the median of x. So if I run a code, you can see the median of x is 18. So once again, let's print the mean of x, so np.mean of x. And if I run a code, you can see that here is the mean, I mean the average, and here is the median. So if you look at this data, you can see that obviously we have an outlier, which is this one. So you can see that the norm of data is around 18, but you can see that this value is an outlier. And remember that the mean is more sensitive to outliers, but the median is less sensitive to outliers. And this is one of the benefits of using median instead of mean for calculating and measuring the centrality of data. But now let's talk about the theory for calculating the median. So as you can see, here is a list of numbers and we want to calculate the median of this data. So the first step is we should sort the values in ascending order. So you can see that we have sorted these values in ascending order. And if the len of this data is odd, I mean, if the number of this data is odd, so we can see that we have a one, two, three, four, and five data, and it is very obvious that five is an odd number. So if the len of data, I mean, if the number of data is odd, you should pick the middle value. So you can see that the middle value is 18. So this is the median of this data. But what would happen if the length of data is not odd and it's even? So consider this example. So you can see that we have one, two, three, and four data. And four is very obvious that it's an even number. So the first step is to sort the values in ascending order. So let's do it. So you can see that we have sorted the values in ascending order. And if the length of data, I mean, if the number of data is even, you should average the middle values. So here, because we have two middle values, so you can see that we have two middle values, we should average these values, average these middle values. So we do that, 17 plus 18 divided by 2 is 17.5, and this is the median of this data. So let's verify that. As you can see, that this is the first example, which the median is 18. And for example, if I remove this, and if I run the code, you can see that this is the second example, which you can see that the median is 17.5. Now I really suggest you to watch this video, which is on the screen now.